Mario Vlogs, number 247, Leapfrog. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, for some years I have had a Tivoli radio. It's a lovely little radio with a, a rechargeable battery and it locks onto the stations really well, but oh, a while back it just stopped going and I tried to get it fixed. It was really handy to have when I was working down the back of the section because, you know, it was um, a standalone, didn't need any power or anything like that, and it put out a lovely sound, so it was quite good to listen to the radio and cricket and music and what have you while I was working down the back. So uh, today I thought, oh, I'll um, I'll go and get one of those um, Bluetooth speakers, and um, that, that'll be, and I can just run it off my phone. So uh, yeah, I I went and bought the Bluetooth speaker, and I bought one of these Black Blizzard um, Bluetooth speakers. It was the cheapest one in the shop at PV Tech, so uh, where I buy most of my computer gear, and um, so. I went in there and initially I had a bit of a look around and then I saw this one, 49 bucks, where well you can hardly go wrong with that. So I thought, oh, well, I'll, I'll buy that and I'll bring it home. And then as I was driving it home, I thought, hang on a minute, I've got to get my Wi-Fi down to the back shed. And I don't know whether my Wi-Fi, how that goes. So, um, and I sort of figured, well, I'll have to do a bit of a leapfrog situation. So, I got my phone out and worked out that the Wi-Fi sort of worked out round about where my hedge was. So, uh, I put a, a chair there and put my phone on there. And then I hooked up my Bluetooth speaker and it's got a range of about 25 meters so um, I had my Bluetooth speaker over by the shed. So with a sort of leapfrog system, I was able to get the Wi-Fi to the phone and then the Bluetooth uh, to the uh, Black Blizzard speaker. And uh, there I had, I've got music and uh, radio and everything I need in the, in the shed um, in the back of my garden. So I'm very, very happy chippy. And... Um, yeah, the uh, the Black Blizzard has proved to be um, pretty good. It uh, has, a, has a real interesting little um, instruction video with it. Whoever wrote it had a bit of a had a bit of a good time. Had a bit of uh, a bit of fun with the way they wrote things. One of the things was um, I noticed in it. It has this thing: sensible warnings. Don't poke the rubbery ends too much. You could damage your speaker and make it sad. <laughs> and it had a little sad emoji and it says, Don't get it wet, especially not while charging. And then finally it had this one, which was a bit left field. Do not feed after midnight. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know whether that's a joke or a, um, just a, someone's poor command of English, but I, I think it's a joke. Do not feed after midnight. So, um, yeah, so a bit of fun there with the um, Black Blizzard MP3 and the leapfrogging down into the backyard. So very pleased with the product. Uh, pretty simple to operate. The instructions don't really tell you too much, but I just plugged it in and the battery started charging. And, uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's all good. So, um 49 bucks, can't go wrong really. Um, so that brings us to today's um, photograph here. And um, this this is photograph here of this guy here. And um, well, I wonder what his connection is with uh, the, um, with today's little uh, leapfrogging with the uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So, um, yeah, this guy was born in um, Sweden, and born in Sweden in 1846. Born in Sweden in 1846. So, find out who he is, and then the connection between 
him in today's leapfrogging um, may become uh, may become clear clearer it's a bit of a three-step process I have to say um, but uh, yeah we'll see see how it goes so that brings us to uh, yesterday's uh, photograph that had to be explained in LinkedIn and this here is a scene from the movie Titanic and it's on the deck of the Titanic so my um, photo uh, my um, theme was about clearing my deck and uh, certainly when the the Titanic they cleared the decks there um, as Yankee pointed out and uh, I pointed out to him that although they cleared the deck, uh, when they did finally find the Titanic, the uh, pool was still full. Yeah, so pretty good. Uh, so yeah, WT got that, um, the deck scene from the movie Titanic. Uh, he was even um, up with the play as to what was happening in the scene. Apparently uh, Jack was explaining some sketches or something to Rose. So, uh, yeah, number 246. So, uh, just back um, to today's uh, little uh, question or theme, if you like, is uh, who is this guy and what's his connection um, to the leapfrogging Wi-Fi Bluetooth situation that I found myself in today? All good. Cheers. See you.